All right. The first purple rule you should always keep in mind when using clear aligners is that you need to use attachments. An attachment is a white composite resin shape that is bonded to a specific tooth, which helps out the movement that tooth needs to make. In fact, sometimes aligners have trouble with producing specific movements on some teeth. In those cases, they just need a way to stay well attached to the teeth surface. And that is when an attachment is needed. To make sure the aligners stays perfectly attached to the teeth's surface. In fact, if that happens, the aligners have a greater chance to correctly move the teeth. Now, there are two main families of attachments. Traditional attachments and optimized attachments. Traditional attachments are usually rectangular. Although you can also choose different shapes for traditional attachments in your clean check. Please note that you always need to actively request traditional attachment placement on a specific tooth in your clean check. In fact, traditional attachments are not automatically positioned by the software. It is you that have to ask for them if you want them. These attachments mainly serve two purposes. The first purpose is to stabilize the aligner onto the tooth surface so that the aligner can precisely fit the tooth. If that happens, it's more likely that it will correctly exert its forces on that tooth. The second purpose is to give the aligner a bigger surface it can apply a force onto. In fact, if a tooth has an attachment on it, its surface will be the tooth surface plus the alignment surface. And the more surface an aligner has to push a tooth onto, the more predictable the movement will be. Now, take a close look at that upper left canine. That tooth needs to be extruded. And the clean check simulation goes pretty well. But let's pretend for a moment we put on an aligner without any attachment and try to extrude that tooth. As the treatment goes on, the aligner will slowly detach from the canine in an effort to pull it down. As the clinical crown of the canine does not offer any convexity for the aligner to grasp the tooth, we will need to give him one, which is an attachment. This way, will make sure that the aligner can exert its force over the attachment area orthogonal to the tooth movement and make that movement actually happen. Well then, imagine you need to review a clean check. You're asking yourself what kind of traditional attachment you better use to perform a specific tooth movement. In fact, if a tooth needs to make a big movement, you should place an attachment on it. The purple rule here is to get the biggest attachment surface perpendicular to the movement's direction. Look at the example now. That cuspid needs to be rotated toward Michel. Well then, you'll need to place an attachment with its biggest surface perpendicular to the direction of the force. In this case, you will need a traditional vertical attachment. The second great attachment family is the one of optimized attachments. These attachments are automatically placed by the software based on the amount and type of movement a specific tooth needs to make. So, you cannot request these optimized attachments. They come by themselves when the software things are needed, no question asked. Optimized attachments have a specific shape, different for every teeth and relative movement they need to perform. They are even positioned on a specific spot on the teeth surface to maximize their efficacy. Their shape and position 
are automatically set by the software so that they can help for a specific glutes movement in the most effective way. These attachments on those bicuspids and that cuspid are, for example, optimized rotation attachments. They are often automatically programmed on premolars as those round teeth don't allow the aligner to easily grasp on them to make them rotate. Take a look at the picture. As you can see, this cuspid and bicuspids needs to rotate. The optimized rotation attachments have an active surface perpendicular to the direction of the force needed to perform that specific movement. So the aligner will push on that surface, in this case, allowing for the teeth's derotation. So, just make sure to use attachments. And even if a tooth doesn't have an optimized attachment on it, that doesn't mean it doesn't need a traditional one. If you're in doubt, just plan for one more attachment. It's better than one less.